Hi, this is Jay, Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. SolidWorks 2015 has brought us some great new enhancements for weldments. First, we'll take a look at visual highlighting. You're now able to select a group and see which frame member belongs to it. When we hover back into the graphics area, the cursor on the frame member will show which group it belongs to. The corner treatment has also been enhanced for 2015. All of the grouping is in one dialog box, and we can easily see the trim order. It's easy to change the trim order by selecting. Also, during the trim order, it's easy to continue to move the model, as it's non-modal now. We can easily zoom in from another angle. For 2015, SolidWorks has enhanced the gusset command. Now we're able to place a gusset on members that have a gap between the faces. Simply select as usual. We also have the ability to place gussets on round tubes. For 2015, SolidWorks also allows us to place a gusset between a round member and a square member. All we have to do is give it a guiding edge. And one last enhancement for the gussets is being able to place the gusset between a flat plate and a structural member. SolidWorks 2015 has greatly enhanced the end cap command. When we select end cap, we have our previous options, and now we have an internal option that allows us to place the end cap inside of the structural member. If we select the end of the tube, we're given this preview and it shows the end cap inside 10 millimeters. If we change that to 15, it moves back. The offset value is from the edge of the inside of the tube to the end cap. If we change this to one, you can see that it moves out. If we look at this in a section view, you will see that the end cap is cut normal. This makes manufacturing and machining much easier. When creating weld beads, we now have more flexibility to define the required weld. The weld bead feature now supports welds across multiple bodies. It also allows the creation of multiple weld beads for, that would be created from the selection. A lot of times it's necessary that we build a weld on a single body like a sheet metal or in a rolled column. Now we're able to do that with SolidWorks 2015 with the multiple body support. If we select weld path on this rolled column, we just select the seam and add a weld. This weld in the corner is particularly nasty as it has a gap to jump, but we just select the edges and SolidWorks 2015 now takes care of the rest for us and adds the weld path. Another nice feature is that we have the ability to suspend the rebuild of welds in the weld folder. We simply right click on it. If we suspend it, it won't rebuild. It gives us the option now that they'll only be rebuilt manually. In SolidWorks 2015, there's now an option to keep the cut list up to date automatically. The previous automatic option only grouped items into the cut list folders. Now the new option will ensure that the cut list is up to date all of the time. In fact, there's now options to create the cut lists, keep the cut list up to date, create the derived configurations as welded and machined, and an option to rename the cut list folder with the descriptions of the items. If we click this, watch how it updates in the tree. That's pretty useful. Now we can tell which item is which. Cut list properties have been enhanced and now a quantity and a total length property are created automatically. These properties are useful in bill of materials and cut lists. And last but not least, for manufacturing, we often want to be able to find our secondary operations. Now all we have to do is add them to the favorites, go up to the favorites, select the items, and we can group them into a favorite folder 
We'll call this one weld prep. Now we can see the chamfers all grouped in one folder. This was Jay with Go Engineer. I hope you found this SolidWorks 2015 Weldments video informative. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.